Good morning. It's New Year's Day, aka Hamish's birthday. Oh, I need to change my battery. We're gonna go for a walk up the mount, hopefully. So we've got our sneakers on and we're ready to go. Okay, let's go at the back weather. Alright, I need to find my hat. Got my Contiki backpack from a few years ago when I did that Contiki with heaps of YouTubers. Woo! Just been house hunting in Papamoy, like down the road from the mount. See if there's anything we like here. And I got an egg sandwich and we're gonna go to mini golf now. We've got a house viewing at one o'clock. So me and Hamish just came back from looking at a house and we love it. So excited. Don't know if we're getting it yet, obviously. There's a lot of steps in buying a house, but we actually found something that we really like. So I'll keep you guys updated. We're kind of excited, which I'm trying not to get too excited because you know how the last two houses worked out. And if you're new here, the first time we loved a house, we went to auction and we just decided not to push it because we already went above like what we wanted to spend. And then we regretted that for ages. And then um, the other house we loved, which was like our dream house, had really bad leaking and they're still actually fixing it so we just don't think that's like a wise decision to go for that still because once it's been leaky like you just don't know what issues it's gonna have in the future so <sighs> I'm so nervous that this one's gonna have something wrong with it but we'll see hey guys so I just got ready for Bay Dreams here's my makeup I'm wearing Panther Lashes the Stila liquid eyeshadow lipstick coming soon to so beauty and lip liner as well um, my foundation is the Clinique 2-in-1, my highlight and contour is the Pro Glow palette, and my blush is Vizier. And the rest of my eyeshadow is the Shining Soap palette, Benefit Brow. This morning we looked at that house again, who knows what's going to happen, I'll obviously keep you guys updated. Um, and other than that we've just been chilling, and yeah, we're at a new house now by the way because we needed a different place to stay for one night because we decided to go to this festival. We got hooked up from a real estate agent. Yeah. She yeah. us up with us for the night. Yeah. Did you tell them um, they're getting a bony report done? No. no. I don't know how much I should say. You tell them. Okay, we're getting a building report done next. So We have come to an agreement. Got it. But if it's shit, if it's got like leaks again, it's yeah. not happening. Yeah. To be honest, this one is... What would you rate it? Love it. It's like everything you want. It's not in the location we wanted, but the house is literally like 10 out of 10. Yeah. With a couple of minor changes, which is so normal. It's good. It's good. And then my outfit is not very festival like. I would have liked a t shirt, but believe it or not, I actually forgot to pack shirts. <laughs> I have like a couple of shirts and the rest are like play suits and stuff. So this skirt is from, I actually think this whole outfit is from Shopo. This is Fawn Star. My shoes are just came out shoes. There's my bra. <laughs> um, and then I've just braided my hair to try and look a little bit more festival like, but it's not. I just look like I'm about to go clubbing or something, minus the heels, but oh well, it's all I had. I love this skirt though, because I'm like seriously bloated. I'm really wanting to go to a naturopath um, because I don't know, just food has not been agreeing with me lately. I'll eat like anything in the morning and my stomach feels so full instantly after like a couple of bites and it just hurts. Like, something's not going right with my body. So I need to get that checked out. So this is quite a good skirt to kind of cover the bulges. Packed my bag. All of the essentials. This is not the color I'm wearing right now, but here's a sneak peek. Yes, creamy finish. I'll probably put that on later. Red Bull and vodka, here we go. He has to go home, I think. You are right, brother? He's right. We're going in there. Is this a crossing? Can we go? Thank you. Shannon, introduce people to the same thing as Palmy. Oh, well, it's the Ranger. It's very similar to Party Tracker. It looks but terrible. Let's be honest, Towering is way better. We have been told that you're the guy that knows what's going on right now. I don't. You got us. What's your name? Lauren. Got him. So, we've made it through. Where are we going? Do you have no idea still? We'll get there. Show me the stages. Is that the one we're going to? We're, well, that's where Eptic is at the moment. We're close to that. I think he's the last person I care about on that. And how good are the drinks? Mid. This is where we are. Coming out of the luxury toilets. Honestly, it was quite luxury in there. They're chatting, loving life. So we're going to go out there and enjoy it soon. 
and it was the um, machine gun killer guy. Was it? Yeah. Oh, what's the? Who was the most damning client? Probably Aaron? Aaron Simpson. Aaron Simpson. Aaron was... to the Simpson. We need to go and tend to him, but everyone's spilling drinks. Who's got this? I've just finished editing that last portion of this vlog that you've seen. Oh my goodness, how tragic. Sorry to put you through that. I had the best time at Bay Dreams. I think it's probably my favorite festival I've ever been to in New Zealand. In fact, one of my favorite ones ever. Like I just had the best freaking time. Me and Hamish both had the best time. And it was really cool because I was some like old friends there that I haven't seen in a while. Um, and just some people I didn't expect to run into. So it was just such a like good, good day slash night it was really fun and everyone was so awesome i made some new friends so it was so good just really tragic i edited out this footage of like me dancing with erin and oh my god who the heck do i think i am i look like a total dickhead hopefully no one in the crowd was filming me because literally like i cannot dance i don't know who i was thinking who i was do you know what i mean anyway i thought i would just add on some more to this vlog because it is so short i haven't been vlogging for a few reasons, like I've kind of said a couple times in my recent vlogs, um, just I haven't felt right, I don't know. My mental health has been not the best lately. I have taken proactive steps to reducing my workload, which you guys will be happy about. I think I will be getting an editor this year, so me and my manager are working on that at the moment. Um, because I just, it's just not healthy, like the amount I'm worrying and stressing. And I figure if someone can just even edit, like... A couple of my vlogs a week that gives me more space to breathe to work on exo beauty without stressing myself out too much and working till 11 o'clock at night and also it just means that i can really focus on creating like creating the footage which is my favorite part like vlogging i love vlogging so much but you know some of you guys have noticed like some of these vlogs are so behind and i just like yeah a couple of those reasons like one just trying to edit everything it has been christmas and new year's so of course i've taken a little bit of time off so i haven't been vlogging as regularly i know some people get frustrated when the vlogs are a bit behind and i'm sorry about that but i just don't want to like not upload them um they will get more recent obviously but it's just that time of year you know what i mean so i do apologize if you're a bit gutted about that um but yeah i'm gonna try and upload more frequently here like i keep saying that and i feel like i am kind of frequent you know there's usually at least one to three a week which is good but i would like it to be like three every week if that makes sense on my vlog channel my main channel is going really well i've been putting a lot of effort into my videos like always but really like i've just been feeling my recent uploads like i'm really enjoying like the content i've put out like i just think it's really good do you know what i mean like sometimes as a creator you put out stuff you're like oh i think it's okay you get really good feedback for some reason just like i don't know whereas I've just loved some of the videos I've put out recently, which is really cool. It's a good feeling, so hopefully that happens more often, but it's just that creative process sometimes. It's just like, what is this? Um, and just my overall health, like, I've been dealing with some stuff, and uh, um, I am taking active steps to help myself, and my mental health's just been nagging on my mind lately. just haven't felt... I had so much fun just, like, relaxing over the Christmas and New Year's break, but... I don't know it just I don't know I think it's just like I said a couple of vlogs ago like I miss my family members so much and I don't know I feel a bit lost sometimes but that's just part of the like grieving process I guess and also like Hamish has been sick again he got tonsillitis again the other day like four days ago so I haven't been vlogging because of that also like there's just been so many things happening um but yeah keen to get back into vlogging now poor Hamish um he had to go to the like emergency doctor and get like antibiotics and everything um because he was getting really sick 
and he's silly like he's gone to work today I was like don't go into work like you need to take a day off um he's had like the weekend to recover but I was like you should take Monday off as well today's Monday but he doesn't listen he's like a little workaholic and you know last time we talked about the tonsillitis like people were like oh we get tonsils taken out here like in other countries and we do here as well like I've had mine taken out when I was little Hamish never got his taken out and then Back in, it was when we were moving to Auckland, so like 2013, 2000, like the end of 2012, he was on the list to get them out. Um, and then I think we were moving, so he had to go back on the list. Then he got back on the list, and then he had a job interview or something like that, so he had to like turn down the appointment once again, because here in New Zealand it's like a free procedure. procedure. You get put on a public waiting list, and then, you know, your name comes up. So if you can't go... Obviously, they're going to give it to someone else. They won't just, like, postpone you. You just go off the list. You have to go back onto it. So then, after that time, he didn't rebook for whatever reason. And he actually wasn't sick for a long, long time. Like, his tonsils just didn't play out for, like, a couple of years, I suppose. What's that? I'm trying to, like, work it out in my head, but I'm just so tired. Um, however, yeah, like, recently, he got it again. He actually got it again, like... I, I wanted to say last year, but the year before last year. I'm so confused. He got it again, but just didn't go back on the list. And I'm like, Ugh. And then he went back to the doctor and they were like oh you probably don't need to get your tonsils out because you don't get tonsillitis very often anymore but now he's got it again so I don't know what his doctor's gonna say because the emergency doctor sorry this is so like blabby the emergency doctor is not his normal doctor so he has to go to his normal doctor to talk to him about if he needs to get them out again life is just full-on but I felt a little bit better today like today's Monday I feel like last week because we got back from the mount last week um, and then obviously I started work like midweek and it was just really weird I guess starting work in the middle of the week I was like what am I doing like I was just really disorientated and couldn't remember what I was meant to be doing <laughs> even though it's only been like a week since I was working but now that it's like Monday and I've been working all day like I feel like much better like my routine is coming back so I'm feeling good about that I feel like my mental health is a little bit better I don't take holidays which I know is not healthy but it was like when I wasn't working like I just felt really strange and sad I guess because I was not like, I wasn't keeping myself busy enough or something. I don't know. I don't know. I had the best time away with Hamish, though, at the Mount. It was so relaxing. Oh, just a little bit of an update for you guys. So, yeah, pretty stoked about that. It was really, really, really relaxing, and I can't wait to hear about the house as well. I will update you when I hear more. Of course, it's the beginning of the year, so everywhere's, like, shut at the moment. The council, the builders, all of that, but it's getting sorted soon. I'm going to open some mail. I don't have much mail. It's the beginning of the year, but... I'm gonna show you what I've got anyway. So if you've been watching me for a while, you know I am a music junkie. Excuse me, Mr. Toenails, what are you doing? You fool. I'm a huge music junkie and I, <laughs> you actually need your nails done again. Jeez, they're growing so fast in this weather. I swear it's like the hot weather. Anyway, that's relevant. I love Dylan Francis, one of my favorite producers. So he tweeted about his merch and I immediately bought it because duh, I just bought one thing the I don't give a fuck or shit which is always a good life motto and by the way I did kind of lie there's like quite a lot of packages then so my got sent this bubble tea bath and body hibiscus and acai berry tea but they are for your bath cool oh my gosh I have to give some to my friend Michaela to try to because she loves baths like I do um and then this lemongrass and green tea shower gel and a restoring hand cream do you mind do you mind? <laughs> Since you insist in being in my video, what do you think of the smell? Do you like it? Yep. Why has Sal sent me their foundation blender? Is this like a fancy sponge? Oh my gosh, I think it is. Ooh, it's like flat on one side. And then, oh, flat on two sides. That's so interesting. Obviously it's hard small, but I'm sure once you wet it, it'll get softer. Oh, and it's flat on the bottom. That's so cool. Next up, this is from Designer Brands. Nosey's back. It's got a different toy every second. Okay, so we've got a Like a Diamond 12 shade eyeshadow palette, 12 super shimmer shadows, cold pencil and jewel eyeshadow brush, and then we have a face base palette. I'll save these for a first impression at some stage. This comes with blush, lip color, bronzer, highlighter, and another highlighter. I want to see what it looks like on the inside. So here's the eyeshadow palette and then the like blush and lip and bronzer and etc palette. Actually, this color looks so nice. It feels nice too. It's very shimmery. Let's see the shimmery eyeshadow. I love shimmery eyeshadow. Oh, that's a stunning color. 
looks really pigmented so I'll try them in a drugstore first impression at some stage my camera is dying classic okay, I had to have a break for a little while I just edited a video to charge my camera we're back it's 5 p.m. <laughs> Okay, this is from Mecca. Thank you, Mecca. It says, Shannon, we hope you absolutely love these Mecca Cosmetica products. Mecca Cosmetica and online at meccabeauty.co.nz. So we have a enlightened powder, which is a golden illuminating powder, balm, fan brush, and lip from within it drops. I am excited. Okay, so this powder looks so beautiful. It does feel a little bit gritty when I swatched it. I'll show you in a second. But the actual effect looks really nice. So I do want to try it on my face to see how it feels like on the face. Um, and then these other liquid drops. And then the like balmy, creamy product. So on my hand, from left to right, we've got the powder, the liquid, and the cream. The cream looks really beautiful. I'm excited to see how they all work on the skin. And then they also gave me a ring light, which is so cute. I'm so excited. And then the brush, I forgot to say. This is how it looks and it's really really soft and quite dense feeling it's actually a lot smaller than any of my other fan brushes i have my kiss me live glam subscription which i'll see if i'll do a video on it this month i don't know like i feel like half of you guys love them and half of you guys don't watch them like they always seem to get less views than everything else so you know let me know if you actually like them or not i don't know i really like these liquid liquid lipsticks though I got a couple of wee outfits from Once It. Gotta love some Once It Halo. It's like a polka dot number and something that's red. I think this is actually a skirt. Maybe. A new stock of uh, teamy stuff. They sent me this cute headband. And then this scrub. Uh, excuse me, sir. It's not a toy. I haven't tried this yet, but I'm so looking forward to trying it. I do need to try it soon. And then we've got skinny tea and colon tea. That sounds exciting. <laughs> and what else did they send? And then, oh, another detox mask. I actually did this this morning. I was going to say today. This morning, straight after I got the shower, I freaking love it. I really recommend this. It's so good. Um, and I'm glad I've got it back up because mine's half empty. I am dead. This is so pretty. Next up, there is a Urban Decay little gift. And this is a mascara, Troublemaker Mascara. And an eyeshadow palette with a treble size mascara. It looks like this. Ooh, some of those colors look really pretty. How nice are these for like autumn, winter weather? More Mecca, except this time it is the lowest rated stuff. I'm going to do that video hopefully this week. Like, film it, I mean. But I'll keep you guys updated. Um, I was surprised at some of the brands that were the lowest rated with really, really bad reviews. I'm hoping that it's not going to be as bad as some people say it is. Because, you know, everyone's got different opinions. But that's why I'm trying it. I'm going to tell you what's good and what's really, really terrible. Next is some new Tarte stuff. So we have um, lip paints that are matte. We've got highlighting lip paints, which are shimmery. Kind of like the, um, what are they? Jouer lip toppers, I guess. And then highlighting lip paint. Oh wait, same thing. Okay. And then a chrome shadow pop. Okay, so we have the lip paints. And then we have the little eyeshadow. A Parquet Princess, which I really like this bronzer. And then this palette here. Oh my god, I'm gonna love this, aren't I? Bronzers, like yellow powder, yes. Contour, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Then Max Media Lab passed this on to me from Mark Jacobs Beauty. So thank you so much. To get a little bit busted, but look how cute. Oh my god. I feel like Sally Joe would like die over that. And then we have a mascara. I really like this mascara if it's the same one. Volume Noir Velvet. I don't know, something like that. And then a lipstick. Oh my god. This is in the shade Perfect. Oh my god, it's such a nice color. And then we have the Snake Charmer set of lip glosses. And then this little set with this cute little tassel brush. Like, I don't even know, not brush, what? <laughs> Makeup bag kind of situation. Little mini lipsticks. I love. Another super cute Tarte um, little gift from them. This is a Blemish Bully. That's so cute. With a drink bottle and a skipping rope. The Blemish Bully, which is like a obviously anti-blemish like treatment and then a tingling treatment which is supposed to exfoliate balance and minimize your pores I'm excited oh and a t-shirt too <laughs> next up is a big stock up package from LA girl with their concealers 
the days, seriously. Um, some marshmallow s'mores and some pro blending sponges, which look like cheaper versions of the YSL one. Yay, thank you, LA Girl. I love this concealer still. I haven't used it in a while. Don't know why, I guess because I've been trying out new ones. These were like my holy grail for a while. So I should really give it a go again soon because I really love it. Next up is the Studded Kiss Cream Lipstick Collection. Oh my goodness. So they sent me a ton of different colors, which heaps of them look really unique. Like all of these ones and there's some bright pinks, some more unique colors. Like heaps of cool colors. Me and Hamish are obsessed with Black Mirror. We've watched up to this. We're currently on episode. Some of the three best episodes. White Hold Christmas. On. <laughs> no, White Christmas play test and what was the other one? Can't remember. White Bear. We're up to season three, episode four. We watched every other single one yesterday. Every episode's different. Watch White Christmas. I think White. we're last, the last people on the planet to actually watch it. So I'm sure everyone else has seen it. These two are naughty. There's some kids playing in the street. And they think that they're guard dogs. When those people are allowed to play in the street. They've been banished to here. Look. Yeah, I was like, yeah. Zeus, get in the room. Louis is so on edge. I know. Look. Zeus, stay. Zeus, sit. <laughs> Look at Louis. He's like. He's yeah, ready. I'm about to go. They're so naughty though. Zeus gets shitty when we make him stay in our room with us. Like, because he knows what stay means and he knows he'll get in trouble. Well, like, stay and he gets all growly at us. Look how cute he is, though. He literally thinks he's a rock wheeler, eh? Ridiculous. He thinks he's the most beastly is huge dog. Is no. His little tongue out. Up. You need a haircut, buddy. I might have to give you one this weekend. Before we go away. He's getting tired now. 